everybody. Hello, friends. Today is Thursday, April 18th. My daughter's birthday. It's Happy my baby's birthday. birthday. And we are the, the Sable, Sable Stitchers. Stitchers. I'm Roberta. I'm Lenny. And you can find me on Instagram at Roberta Lyle. And I'm L. Eisenberg. Okay, and we are plugged in today, because, yeah. so we don't have to mess around with the sound later on. Yay. Um, and this is our floss tube number 50. 50! Yay! Yay. So we I have are, a sensory. Yes. <laughs> um, we are going to be kind of zipping through this today, because I have to pick someone up at the airport. But. We have a retreat this weekend. Yes. We've got friends coming in. Um, so we usually start with a life update. Well... I do have a, a big life update, but we're going to make it short. Um, the Lord's birthday's today, and so I had a date last night. Wyatt asked me out for a date because oh. he wanted to go buy his mama a birthday present. So we went, and he picked out a card, and he picked out a candle for her, and he got ready to pay, and he goes, I forgot my wallet. Oh. <laughs> Maybe can have a, and I did notice in my purse there's a twenty dollar bill. Oh, so he stuck a twenty dollar bill in my purse. Oh, and let's see, uh, Mason broke his hip playing rugby on Friday. They actually had to bring the ambulance out to the field and take him to the hospital. Um, he does have a. They did. It was dislocated, and he had it put back in, but they had to sedate him to do that. And then uh, he does have some fractures around it, but you know, everything I think is healable. The only thing is that he had a partial scholarship to K State for rugby, which is what he was playing. So, not too sure how that goes, but he did lose his job. So, he's because he couldn't walk, because he couldn't walk him. and he can't carry, he was a server, and so he can't carry the trays and use the crutches at the same time. No. So. Anyway, and then my <laughs> my vacuum cleaner backed up on me this morning, oh, no. and I was running the vacuum real fast before I came over here. That's why I'm late. And it, I must have sucked something up, some material or something, because it clogged <laughs> it clogged the hose, and it all. Came oh no! Back. Oh, we had a mess. Anyway, but that's it. Don't you know? No life. Don't really life problems. So it's cold today. We had. In the 80s, close to the It was upper really 80s. beautiful. Took a nice walk yesterday. And now outside. it's 50. Yeah. So it's cold. Yeah. Anyway, that's me. How about yeah. you? Well, um, I really appreciate all the well wishes for the new grandbaby, and okay. everything worked out well. I got there Tuesday afternoon, and at 1 a.m., I got a knock on my door, and they were going to the hospital. And um, asked and had me watch. She came on her own. And had me watch Clara. And so, yeah, yeah, she was scheduled to be, my daughter-in-law is scheduled to be induced. And instead, the baby decided she wanted to come when she wanted to come, I guess. So it was all, you know, um, all, everything went well. They were home in two days. And so it was a lot of fun spending time with Clara the first. So Wednesday... Wednesday afternoon after daycare, I took Claire up to the Go hospital. Tell them what the name is. Um, Alice Catherine. Oh, I just another Alice. Another, so. We have another Alice. So yes, and so they, they yeah, I I love it. I didn't had they had never decided on a name. I think I asked finally when I got there, and they said we're not sure yet. So it took oh. them a little bit of time. They were kind of. I think it's you a know it's a big name. decision. So um. So after daycare, I took Clara up to the hospital to meet her new baby sister. She was thrilled, but, and then, you know, this is, so many things are different than when, you know, our kids were born because now I guess dads stay in the hospital with the mom, Yeah. you know? And so I, you know, I left with, I left with Clara and she was kind of hesitant to leave her mom and dad. And I said, um, well, I'll race you to the elevator. So... Um, we went out to dinner at Culver's, which if you're not familiar, familiar with Cul Culver's, they're, yeah, they <laughs> are big on, um, they do frozen custard and then they have like hamburgers so and good. French fries. And so it's kind of a, kind of a fast food restaurant type of place, but that it's has really you know, good. dining inside. So we went inside, it was kind of a line. So we waited in line, placed our order, sat in the booth 
And, you know, I was trying to keep Claire busy while we're waiting for the food. And then all of a sudden she just gets kind of tearful and starts mm. crying mm. And, and saying really loudly, I miss my mommy and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Heads are turning. <laughs> so that was a little, you know. It's like Sarah saying in the grocery store when she was like two and pulling things off the shelf, and I kept saying, stop it, Sarah, stop it, because she just, whatever she wanted, threw it in the basket, and I go, don't do that again, and I held my hand out like this, and at the top of her voice, don't beat me, Mom, <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, I've never even spanked you, yeah. you know, <laughs> but anyway. Oh, yeah, so that was, she did, that was a little bit of a scene, so when her meal arrived and she you know went for the frozen custard first I was like fine just <laughs> as long as you're happy you know and after I she, care. she I think it was part hunger because after she ate she was fine the rest of the night I'm so angry, huh? I think yes I think just a little anxiety of being hungry so so it was great and then I got home a couple days ago oh and you know, just been doing laundry and catching up and packing, we're, packing. We're kind of I know, matched, we're kind we're of coordinated. Again. We have no idea. Jeans, and yeah. then I just wanted to um, congratulate uh, UConn for winning the Women's Basketball Yay, NCAA Tournament and to Iowa Hawkeyes for their amazing year. I have a lot of friends in Iowa who are avid Hawkeye fans and super excited about Caitlin Clark and all the attention, positive attention that's come to women's basketball because of um the team's I'm success so happy and everything for the women. i am so happy and and just just i just wanted to do a little history back when we were growing up and even like before then my sister had said like in the i don't know 50s or 60s high schools generally had money for either boys sports or girls sports i don't know if it was like that everywhere and you know iowa is not as much as it used to be a very rural state and so the boys often had chores around the farm, and so they would invest in the girls' sports. And girls' basketball in Iowa was huge. When I grew up, you could only play, there were six players on a team, you could only play half the court, you could only dribble twice, and then you had to pass. And you know, that, is, that has changed now. But I mean, when the Iowa girls' basketball had, you know, their state finals, everyone watched it, it was huge. So. It's a big tradition in Iowa, and I'm just glad they're doing well. They did well this year. And so Caitlin was number one mm -hmm. on the um, draft. 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 Yeah. So. so. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, well, let's just start with a little funny. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you call a grandma that's on speed dial? Mimi one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm number one on mine too. But <laughs> But no, it's called Instagram. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is really with the time, so that's really cute. Okay. Okay. Well, I told that joke to Wyatt when we were on our date, and he said, you? <laughs> you, know, he just, you know, it's just like, or no, he called it long, oh, God, what did he say? He said, I can't even remember, but like long Mimi or something like that. Oh, oh that's I'm going to his hair, right? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, well, and I was going to go ahead and say one of the things we had, I was doing kind of a giveaway last video for whoever could guess the closest mm -hmm. to the number of kits, things that I have kitted up. I said I had 36 whips, but then I went through and I did a spreadsheet and listed everything I also had kitted up. And so there was numbers from, I think, in the teens to over 100 and the actual number was 85 and so it was higher than what i thought but wow but well so i was going to mention you know when you go to a retreat like when i was at the attic some at the sampler symposium i came home with five kits just from that one retreat i got i took two mary cox classes neil work press gave us a you know bookmark um so i can't count that as a kit Hands Across the Sea designed. We could kit up one design, and I chose to kit up one of the hands, Mary Ogston, which was the sampler she released at Symposium. And then also, um, let's see, Sarah Milthorpe was the sampler of the month when I was at, or sampler of the month or quarter or whatever when I was at the attic, so I kitted that up. So, I mean, you, you know. Well, you do. I mean, 
however many designers that are there, they always bring a kit. So like this retreat, we have four designers coming, and uh, so we'll get four brand new. And sometimes there'll kit. be a small and then a large yeah, one too. So there's more than one. So, but I have kitted up a lot of my own as well. So anyway, well, the, gosh, she goes to lots of retreats yeah. too for years. So <laughs> well, not that many years. <laughs> Just a few years. <laughs> so the one who was closest was Pat Wiggers, 7872, who guessed 83. And then I had a couple that were 83, three that had 87 as their guess. So that was also very close. But I said who was closest without going over. So Pat, um, congratulations. Email me and I will let you know I was what I have, what patterns I have to donate or to, to pass on, and you can pick one of those and add that to your stash. So, all right. Hey. Well, I had watched a few um, YouTubes this uh, last few weeks. I uh, came across, uh, watched Carolina, Stitch, uh, Carolina Stitchers, and they're having a block, block design sell or start along but what that means is like any pattern that has blocks to it so um little house you know might have nine blocks to a series so i think that's starting i think the 15th or may the first but anyway watch uh, carolina stitchers and then the, a new one i found it was cross stitch the globe um, this is Allison and Stephanie. I just watched one of theirs, but they're also, they're making their own, um, needle minders, but they also did something very interesting that I never even thought about, but the, the most expensive patterns that are on. Oh yeah. I saw one of those too. Uh, That's so eBay. interesting. It was really interesting to think. And I, I had, I had one of them. Um, in just the three and a half years or so that I, I just, I, I, you know, I didn't even know what I had. I just liked it, but, uh, it went anywhere. They had honorable mentions that started at 150. Wow. And then the most expensive one, and I won't tell you what it is. So you go watch them, but was over $350. Wow. So anyway, watch watch wow. them because they have a lot of other things, interesting things uh, that they talk about. And I watched the cow stitcher, which she hasn't been on for a while, but she had so many things to share that are finished. And it was so fun to watch her. And then um, always in stitches, and I can't read my writing. And Alex? Alex? Oh, it was Peter and, um, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the woman's name, but uh, Peter is a new stitcher, and uh, but anyway, they're funny. So. Okay. All right. Well, we do want to. Oh, did you want to show your previous or your finishes? Oh, I I, I had three finishes, um, and this is from um, April Jackson. The um, help me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, April. I'm sorry. Um, the crafty uh, blue bonnet. Crafty blue bonnet. Okay. Right. So this was her lucky. So I had that done the last time, but I get, I got it finished. So I just used two different fabrics and a little bit of rickrack, and then on the back I sewed it all the way around, put the black um, wool and then a, a little green button. So I got that one done. This is another it's one. Really cute finish. By uh, Crafty Blue Bonnet. And this is part of a, um, I have the pattern here. It's part of um, a trio of one of her. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hidden in my box. But anyway, um, and I just, yeah, she's got, it's a trio. It's, it's like really cute. sew and then floss boss and then, oh. It's really cute with that ribbon on that. And I finished it just like it was on the, oh. on the, on the book. So I'll, I'll look cute, for cute. it. Cute, cute. 
Okay. Roberta's pocket. And then my last finish was a wool piece. And this is from Buttermilk Basin. Oh, that is so and cute. I had this one done last time, but I got it finished this time. And I used uh, some chenille from Purple Mountain. And uh, it was such a, a fun. And then I just finished it with some black. Oh, I didn't get anything on the back yet. So those are my finishes. Okay. Um, I don't have any finishes. Oh, yeah, I yeah. just have my whips. Oh, okay. Okay, here's a, yeah, Crafty Blue Bonnet. So, and there's the trio. So I did the sew. And then here's the Lucky Clover Spool. I just love her spool. She's got new spools coming out almost weekly. And there's, I've printed off. Oh my gosh, so many that I want to do, and I just want to have a bowl of spools. Okay. Cute. Okay, here is my book. I've been stitching every day, although Look at you. not I always a lot. Um, when, after um, Claire went to bed, I would usually get some stitching in, but if I was up in the living room, they kept the lights dim for the baby because she wasn't quite used to the bright lights yet, so didn't get in quite as much as I'd want to. But before I... Oh, tell her, you have to tell a story that Clara said about. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, She's so funny. Clara's so funny. <laughs> well, the one thing she said the day before I left, when she came home from school, my son said to her... Um, she said a lot of things, but my son said to her now, use your baby sleeping voice or your mama's sleeping voice. And she said, I lost it. <laughs> Thank you. Buddy. So, yeah, she's, she's a hoot. Um, so before I left on March 31st, I started one more piece for Easter because I thought this would be a pretty quick stitch. And I did want to get, sorry for the glare, I do want to get these done to put in. I have a shaker basket um, that I have some some dried grass in, and I just thought that would be really cute in there. Really and so this is how far I've gotten so far, really close to being finished. And what I do since I've stitched on it for, um, you know, two days, and then and then... I have been doing like about an hour in the morning and I'll continue to do that until it's done. And then this um, came with the printed, as you can kind of see here, it came with the printed fabric to make these other two eggs. So I want to get that done and have that ready for Easter next year. Okay. Uh, well, I started my serenity. Is this one you said you've been almost monogamous on? Really, I think Alice is. What, oh, okay. I was going to show Alice. Um, but God, everybody has seen Serenity. And I passed Serenity Court. <laughs> I look at that now every time. I did get a little bit done. Not, not a whole lot, but it just takes a little while to. And I'm working on a bed sheet here too so uh, I had there's there's my fabric <laughs> wow wow I know I can cut some off but I don't know when so I'm not going to until I yeah that's how I was on that too so it okay. just fits in the hoop better and everything but All right. I had I had those alphabet some of the alphabet letters done but I got and is this is this DMC or no? Um, I did get. Oh, I take that back. It is all DMC. Okay. Yep, it sure is. And it looks so pretty on there. So I'm, I got part of the the right where the bird is. So I got part of that arch there. So then I kind of put it away for a little bit. And do you know what linen you're doing this on? Yes. <laughs> I am doing it on, I'm not sure how to say it, Lig Ligonier. Okay, so Ligonier you see Latte. That? Ligonier Latte. Oh, six count. Okay. I got gas. I got gas. <laughs> I got gas.
<laughs> did it again. <laughs> I in my car. <laughs> Why no? Good. Good. <laughs> Stop. Um. Anyway, and I got oil oh. or something. I'm trying not to touch anything. Um. Okay, it's 36 count R and R. Is that is that Ligonier? I, th- I think that sounds right. Ligonier sounds latte. good to me. Okay, that's what we're going to say. Okay, on DMC, and but DMC. Okay, and this calls for DMC, and this one calls for DMC, and some. I don't know. I guess I don't want to take it out right now and have more crinkling because we're kind of crunched for time. And I have it in my stenal stitches. Oh yay! Which is what our, our giveaway is going to be. Uh, but I, it's got such a long, I mean, you can put two or three projects mm-hmm. in, which I think it's what I'm going to do when I go to retreat this weekend. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. I think this is, I believe this is Oaken on Oaken. So the other piece I worked on was, oh, Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. I know there's several people working on this. I start from the bottom. There's the pattern. So, Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs, and this is how far I got. Sorry, we have the light a little far away, so I have to stand up to show you. I'm really, I love that multicolored alphabet, and I got off on my counting when I was watching one of the finals on the basketball and had to go rip it out. I thought I could live with it, and I couldn't, so. Isn't that funny? You know, I, I try to tell myself, move on or move forward and I think about it and I think about it and I wind up taking it I know I, I know I thought I, I just it's like no I will look at it no one's time, gonna notice no one's I gonna know. notice and then it was like well it's really not gonna take you that much time to to fix it um let's see I don't see my card that lists what this is on I think this is got that green yeah, it's the one that has a lot of green undertones, and I am doing it with all of the called for overdyed floss, which is it looks like a mess. But <laughs> there's a lot of pretty green in there, though. Yeah, this is the one that I Alice I worked on kind of monogamously. It's hard for me to say. <laughs> so because somebody else is named Alice, yes. So I've got quite a bit done on her. I mean, I'm, I'm really close to, well, I'm over over halfway, I know. This is done on 28 count truffle. Um, oh, how Okay, pretty. Kay. I know you're yelling at me because you yelled at me before. Pictures? No. What's the other? Fiber on a whim? It's oh, either picture maybe. this plus or fiber. I think it might be fiber on a whim. Mm-hmm. But anyway, 28 count ruff, uh, ruffle, truffle, which is a real pretty piece. It's very pretty. So I finished the grass almost. I've got to put in the flowers, and then I just have the other side to do, and it should be done. So I love this one. So I've been working on this one a lot. Okay, well, there's Pepper. Hello, Pepper. Hi. And then I've also been working on Study in Blue. I took this with me on my trip. And I started on the box top. And that's how far I got. I did a mistake on one of these little branches over here. There was like a little extension with two and then it went up. And I got to the part where I stitched the bird and its nose was like right on the floor. Its beak was right on the flower so I had to restitch that. But See if you notice, you know, I didn't, I started stitching this at the beginning of the year. Look at her. I know, she's thick. She's oh, what she's going to get? She's, no, you don't need to be biting the patterns. Are they, why are they, so funny how they work. So, when I started, this is on 32 count. Um, it just says limited edition from Color and Cotton. When I started, I followed directions. I was I doing that. Two strands of floss over two. I totally forgot about that and did this one over two and I actually like this better. <laughs> I think you can see the variegation shows up a lot better. I mean Does. maybe not so much on the on the video, but in person you can see it. It's not extreme at all, but it's just subtle. 
And so I was at a Sampler Guild of the Rockies seminar this week and was showing this to some people, some friends at the table and saying, I almost feel like I should go back and redo the bottom band. Oh, that's a lot of stitching. <laughs> it's a lot of stitching, I but I mean, you can see them both. And they said, no, just leave it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I really, you know, I just like, I just I know. like the way it's the like stitches I wanted to look. do it the way it's says i know i wish i would have experimented more now uh speaking of blue i got uh americana blue let's see there it goes it's a little bit better so this is beautiful oh, and <laughs> i really like this stitching with you know one color and this is done i did it well it calls for weeks um blue jeans i'm gonna to have to say i kind of wish it, I, it was a little bit darker blue okay. but it's still going to be pretty but i wish I you want to just compare this this is summer sky and then that's blue, yeah, jeans. blue jeans so you can see what the and the pattern called for blue jeans as well i believe the and yeah. this is a sue hillis pattern study in blue oh and this is october house mm -hmm. so and then this is what oh I, you've yeah, good start. Yeah, on I got I got to it's 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 just fun. I just I don't want to stop. This is almost the first page. Mm -hmm. It's got Well, it's got four good pages and then two little partial pages. But um, this is what I got so far. And I really want I don't have a whole lot of wall space, but I really would like to designate a wall that I do have and make it blue. You know some blue stitching because i've got a lot of delft stitching that i want to do a lot of holland stitching that i want want to do so it's real easy i mean it's just it's a lot of stitching but it's i got uh oh uh jackie gave us that little uh, needle holder that you mm -hmm. can get a whole mm -hmm. lot of threads and mm -hmm. stick them on i use that so i just have one thread just going after another. Oh, that's good. But, and I even put it just a in dot a blue dot. bag. I even got it in a blue bag. A little blue checks, a little Very cross cute. stitch. So this one, well, I'll know. <laughs> I'll really know what's in this one. Okay. Um, that's on my whips. And I think. Okay. I, I'll just show a, a couple of the ones that uh, I did work on Laura's a little bit. She was. She came down. She says, you're working on mine. I can't believe it. <laughs> I go, I promise I have it done for by this fall. So I'm over halfway through. So pretty. Oops. Let's go like this. So it, and it's done. I, I had this on 25 count over two. She wanted it to kind of big. That's really pretty. So, and I'll get it framed and I'll... Probably put glass on it and, um, what, what do you call that? It goes around. Fill it? Um, bigger than that. <laughs> Lenny! Oh, well. You know, make it a, a pretty Matt? Good. Matt! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like, you know. <laughs> One word. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, so, that would be really you, pretty. You know, in a school, it's going to be right at the entrance and... Everybody's going to be walking in. So, and this comes from Emma Congdon. Uh, start each day with a grateful heart. So, anyway, very pretty. Okay. Um, the only other thing, and it's not really cross stitch, but it's something I've been wanting to do. And I called Olivia uh, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. This is her very favorite quilt in the wide world. And so I'm going to do this. I don't know about the middle. I might do a panel, but I am going to do all, all the houses on the outside, the haunted houses on the outside. And I've taken it apart twice, but this is all I've got done. But this is also very soothing. I love this. I always love seeing this piece when she shows it. And yeah. Halloween. So I've got, those are so cute. Those houses are so cute. I've got another house traced, and then I just picked up some 
white on white. Oh, that's pretty. So that look, kind of looked a little bit like bats. It's not bats, it's feathers. Oh, it does. But it looks a little bit like bats. And this has stars, a little bit of stars. So, and it called for um, three colors and you divide. It. And did you get this book online? This is by Crab Apple Hood. Did you get it online? I did. Okay. I, well, I got it online when I started watching. Uh, I've had it for quite a while when I started okay. watching Olivia and I go, I love that quilt. I do too. So, and then um, another one, I, I, I didn't bring it because I haven't done anything. I haven't even bought the material for it. But um, I'm going to do the Raven. So, mm -hmm. but it's going to be in fabric. I wish I would have got the wool, but I'm going to do the fabric instead. Okay. That's it for me. Oh, one thing I did get from Amazon. I was all out of those jumbo clips, and so I went to order, and, you know, they came in this cute little container. Oh, wow. And it's like, what a neat little container. Uh, it's got a little bit, came with a measuring tape, and it's got a little pocket, but... You could take those jumbo clips out. You don't need, you know, for the a time being for like the retreat. I'm. I think I'm going to take it out and put. I have a a little box that Stacy made me, but um, it's just kind of nice to have at the table for. I don't know. Whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. Your orts or something. But or... Uh, I like that it came in a little soft uh, container like this. So Very I got that. Cute. Out. Okay. All righty. Well, I think we need to mention who the winners were yes, from we our giveaway last video. And so one of the things I had is our friend Jackie had found some needlework books at a garage sale and passed them on to, generously passed them on to us to either keep or donate. And so we're go I'm going to send all three of them out to one person. And the winner is Nicole C2523. Mm, congratulations. What fun reading. Yeah. Uh, and just a reminder, um, spindle stitches, which I showed you earlier. Um, I, I'm just going to pick one. Oh. We've, I just remembered something. Um, one winner is Carla Markowitz. Six zero eight seven. You win a steno stitches book, and then we have our second one is Kelly underline uh, stitches. You win one too. Okay. Congratulations! And then on our spool, uh, I've never done this before, but uh, April Jack April uh, from Crafty Blue Bonnet. Um, said that if you contact her well i think she they need to contact us and then you can tell april who oh, that's we can right. send it okay yeah. all right got that so contact roberta and the name is lisa silver s-i-l-v-e-r eight zero five four yes. so and then yeah contact roberta and then i'll let april know and uh, leave the information with roberta and then uh, you can go to um, April's, or you might go to April's website anyway. She's got so many cool things, you guys. Thanksgiving and fall, uh, she came out with a new one called Blessed. Um, I think she's doing, oh, I don't know. She's got Santa's. Oh, she's just got so many fun things to do. And they, they really do not take long to stitch, so very easy. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we have our Zoom winners. Our next ten, oh, yeah. ten people for our Zoom winner, winners. <gasps> First one is Perlinda Shelton, 7957. And next one is Barbara Hauser. Barbara, we're keeping you in our thoughts. Next one is Kathy Dash Loves Dash Stitching. And the next one is Mar Maureen Malarkey. One six five three. Congratulations. Well, if it's my, if I spelled it right, it's Malarly. Oh, I'm but sorry, maybe, Malarly. But I could have spelled. Maybe I left out a K. So okay, I'm sorry. Um, then Kathy. I'm getting all the easy ones. Kathy. Oh, thank L. you. <laughs> K 
Kathy L four six nine two. Next one is Gloria. Dearsburg. Gloria. Urea. U R R E A. Gloria. U R R E A. Seven nine one six. And please let us know how to pronounce your name. Jennifer Cape five four five three. And Quilt Ma. It's all one word. Q U I L T M A. Leslie Gray two nine four nine. And our last lucky winner is Alicia or Alicia or Wine. I think that's right. O R T W E I N. We're so happy. Yes. So wait. email me at sablestitcher22 at gmail.com and I will confirm and then I will send you out the link for our Zoom meeting and um, just like some instructions in case you've never been on Zoom before. So sorry this was so short, but we just no. kind of had time constraints and we're trying to trying to get this in before the retreat because it's been more than two weeks since we filmed so yeah i've got to go home and um i think read it or roberta you've got something on your on the website about things to bring for retreats and i have like frequently asked quite it's a faq section and it has like things that people often ask if they've never been to a retreat before don't do like i did the first time don't take lots of projects uh, you won't have time to do lots of projects. <laughs> You're going to probably get new projects. And a lot of it is just having fun and talking to friends and eating snacks and <laughs> and shopping. Just, yeah, and shopping, <laughs> retail therapy. Just, just have fun. And don't be shy. And, you know, just everybody's there for the same thing that you are. And just uh, enjoy. Okay. Did you have a... Oh, well, I, I can't get... To your We thing. can't get... Okay. I had a great one we'll for today. We'll save it for next I'll, time. We'll save it for next time. But I do have one that I, I, I kind of remember, okay. but I'm not reading. <laughs> okay. There was this big... Well, we all know, the, what is it? The first Saturday in May is um, Kentucky Derby. Mm. So um, a big, big event that actually is on a bucket list of mine that I'd... I want to wear, I look ugly in hats, but I would love to to get all dressed up and drink a mint julep and find a cool hat. Anyway, uh, a, a trainer had come to the jockey and they had to scratch a horse for, for a reason and he was giving him a new horse to ride. And so he said, you know, but when you ride this horse, when you're getting ready to come to a jump, um, you have to yell, alley oop to the horse so the jockey thought this is really weird so he gets up on the horse and he gets ready to go through his first jump and he says this is ridiculous i'm not going to say that and so poor horse gets to the jump and he just kind of walks right through the bushes he didn't do anything so the jockey thought well i'll, uh, I'll try it and so he got to the second jump and he just kind of whispered, alley -oop. And the horse still didn't. He just went through the bushes. So he says, well, what have I got to lose? And so he gets to the third jump, and he yells really loud in the horse's ear, alley -oop. And the horse just jumps over the jump, just clears it beautifully. He did that for every jump after that. But still he lost because he missed the first two jumps. So he got off this horse and he went to the trainer and he says, what is wrong with this horse? And he says, you know, he didn't do what he's supposed to do. Is he, is he deaf? And he says, no, he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're supposed to yell alley -oop. Oh, oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have a really quick one here for, even though she's here, she, she did come back. Roberta loves to take a walk every day. She started walking five miles a day at the age of 55. She's 90 now, pretend. <laughs> and we still haven't seen her. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
She just loves to walk. Oh, that's okay. So All right, everybody. All right. Well, well, sorry this was a little I short, know. but we just wanted, to, like I said, pop on here, say hi, hi, and do and announce our winners and that sort of thing, and just kind of keep catch up with you. And we'll catch up with you again when we get back. And we from hope you are usually a little longer. We hope um, if you like what you see, that you'll like and subscribe and hit the notification button so we can keep in touch with you. And we hope to get to know you. If you're at the retreat, please say hi. Please. Come up and say hi. We love you guys. All right. We miss you. Happy stitching. Bye. Bye. Okay.